Hi YouTube, it's Ghosty and I'm about another 2K video. And today I'll be showing you different methods on how to get finishing badges. But before we start this tutorial, in order to get the most badge points, you need to have a game difficulty on Pro and quarter length on 12. So the badges I have right now on this build is Live City Finisher Gold. Contact finisher go, slithy finisher go, pull that box silver and fancy footwork bronze. You don't really need this badge or this badge, but I think you should get live CD finisher, contact finisher, back down punisher, and drop stepper, depending on what type of build you are. And pick and roll might be good too. Now let's get into this tutorial. Alright, so these are the badge points I have gotten. For the games, um, I have not gotten a lot, but you do get a lot when you do my methods that I'm about to show you in this video. So stay here and watch. I'll be showing you two methods, or not actually two or three methods, on how to get finishing methods quick and fast. So just watch the video. Okay, so the first method is alley or off ball screenplays. I personally suggest or think that this is the best one. It's really simple. Okay, so one thing about this method is that it's not gonna work every time. So if your defender does not get hit by the screen and he's still stuck to you, run around and do the same thing again. And that should help. Okay, so now I'll be showing y'all a couple of clips on how to do the play and what it should look like. So all you have to do is just press L1, make sure our screen is being set for you. Backdoor cut, call for an alley, and there you go. Okay, so the second method is fast breaks. You could do fast breaks or start fast breaks by either stealing the ball or cherry picking. But I suggest stealing the ball because that's easier and it helps get your defensive badges. So all you have to do is either half court press and like wait for the right time like steal the ball from somebody. And then all you have to do is just run down court and dunk the ball. So as you can see here, that is what I'm doing. Or you could actually take the ball and run on court yourself with it. But what I suggest is you get the ball pass to somebody and then they'll throw you an alley. So I will be showing y'all the rest of the clips for a fast break right here. So I can see like what you're doing and how to steal the ball and stuff.
Okay, so for the last method, it is post scoring. This is number three. Um, I don't really do post scoring that much, so you're not gonna see that many clips of me doing it. So yeah, so all you, like basically, if you're like a big man, this might be good for you. So like, really, like the easiest way to do this is like set a screen so you can have a mismatch, and then just dunk on him and post him up and score. So it's not really that hard. That's why I said you should have back down Punisher and drop step throwing depending on what you is. So that is it for the video. Um, if you did like, if you did like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll be showing new videos later on.